so much for joining me today. You're watching Disney Channel. Just kidding. This is the official introduction video to my channel and at the end of this video will be a Q&A. In this episode, I'll talk about a few fun facts about me and then we'll talk about what this channel is focused on and then last, we will finish up with a Q&A. Okay, so if this is the first time you are seeing my face, hello, my name is Bella and I am a student by day and wellness blogger by night. Last week I released my first video and it was on a recipe. I will link it down below. So before I get into the fun facts, I wanted to just kind of go over like what is life looking like right now for me. My main focus right now is this channel, my blog, uh, my social media accounts, and just finishing up senior year because I have this this semester of classes and then next semester I'll be doing an internship. Next semester I'm actually working at Verizon Wireless. I'll be the health and wellness intern there and I am super excited because I get to teach yoga classes. I'm gonna be doing like presentations, uh, health initiatives, and this is like what I went to school for so it's really cool and I'm just really excited. Okay so let's get into the fun facts. Alright fact number one. I'm a senior at MSU Mankato and I am currently in the community health ed program. All right, fun fact number two. I was born in Vietnam and I came here when I was six years old with my family. And on a side note, if you have a big Asian family, let me know because we can relate. Fact number three. I've been vegan for about seven months now and my vegan birthday is on December 18th. Fact number four. I started doing yoga when I was 17 years old and I never stopped. So I've been doing it for about five years now and I absolutely love yoga. Like. There's nothing more calming than getting on your mat and practicing. I can I can like rant all day about this, but yes. Fact number five. I taught yoga for about a year on campus and it was so much fun. And honestly, I see myself doing more of it in the future. Okay, fact number six. I have a boyfriend of three years and he's a total sweetheart. His name is Miles and he will most likely be on a few videos. I also have a chihuahua mix. His name is Opie and he is my life like I treat him like he's my son because he kind of is. I adopted him about two years ago and yeah he's been with us ever since. Okay last but not least I consider myself a type A introvert. So a type A introvert is someone who is pretty much like they can be the life of the party or they can seriously just be at home chilling. Okay so moving on. Next up is what will you expect on my channel? In general it's pretty much like health and wellness. Anything that's holistic health Anything that's vegan recipes, that's what I am here for. You don't have to be vegan to be watching my videos. As long as you have like an interest for health and self-care, that's all that matters. There's a lot of subcategories that I want to dig into as well. So my channel, be ready for some plant-based recipes. I wrote this all down, so that's why I'm looking down here. So first, it will include plant-based and vegan recipes. That's really like 80% of what my videos will probably be about and they will be all under 12 ingredients, super simple to make, and budget friendly. Second, I'll do self-care and wellness tips, and this will include things like uh, yoga or beauty products, and I'll do reviews, and then maybe some like DIY um, face mask or anything that I do to really feed my soul. I will share it with you guys. Third is sustainable and conscious living and this will include things like what I've been doing to really help lower my footprint and I'm not saying that I'm like a perfect environmentalist like I don't live in a tiny home yet but I think I have a few tips that I can share along the way as I learn and um, obviously I'll share what I've been doing so far. Last but not least, I might be doing some personal vlogs and this will include things like maybe some traveling that I do with Miles or my family and I don't know, just some personal things that I want to show you guys. Um, but yeah, I guess it'll just be supply and demand. If you guys really want to see my life, I will do something um, along those lines. But if not, I'll stick to my cooking recipes. My life isn't that interesting enough to like vlog every day. I'm on Instagram story and that's pretty much my vlogging. Okay, so on to the Q&A section. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you're still watching this, I love you. Thank you for those who asked me questions because if no one was gonna ask me any questions, I was seriously gonna like make up questions for myself to ask or for myself to answer. Okay, so I pulled these questions from my last video and on Instagram, so let's dive into it. All right, number one is how long have you been blogging? I've been blogging since about June, so that's 
five months ago and I started from the ground up pretty much like I built the website by myself I learned how to like um, design it and it was a lot of YouTube videos and googling and so if I did it I'm saying that anyone anyone literally anyone can do it. okay question number two is what made you fully decide to go vegan oh gosh uh, I have a blog post actually about this on my website I'll try to keep it short and sweet I guess I'll just tell you about the night that pretty much changed my life so I was living in Mankato by myself for about a week um, I had to work I was working at a daycare on my college campus and my boyfriend had to go home to the cities so I had a week to myself and one night I was on YouTube and I was looking up recipes and then I landed on some vegan recipes and so I watched recipes for like hours pretty much and then I landed on Gary Gorofsky's best speech ever YouTube video and I watched it I literally like cried to myself by myself in my room and I was like traumatized like the videos I saw were seriously just like heartbreaking of like the animal exploitation and um, how they were being treated. I it seriously it just shattered my heart. So after that I'm pretty sure I watched like Forks Over Knives and some other videos and something just clicked with me that night and I was like I cannot be a part of this. Like I don't care if a vegan diet is like not the healthiest which I believe it is. Um, I don't care if it's like the healthiest like I just can't be a part of an industry that does this to living beings. I've had meat all my life, but I just never was exposed to how they got onto my plate and the whole the whole process of it. Once I watched these videos, like I I couldn't I couldn't do it. It's just like an ethics thing for me and wow, I can preach this all day, but I'm not, I'm not. I'm gonna cut myself off right now because I will go on a rant. Yeah, so that night I made the decision, like, I'm gonna try this vegan diet. Like, I'm, I know it's gonna be hard, and I know that I will have slip-ups, especially in the beginning, but I will not consume any animal products or meat if I am aware of it. That's how I became a vegan, I guess. I just made the decision, and then the next day, I was a vegan. I said, hey, I'm a vegan. I didn't tell anybody. I told my boyfriend and I just lived my life as a vegan. So that's it. All right, so question number three is what inspired you to go vegan? So like I said, the videos and documentaries really helped me transition and make that decision to become a vegan. I was initially inspired by influencers and YouTubers that were vegan and the documentaries that I watched. Now I'm also inspired by the community of vegans and vegetarians and plant-based eaters around me. Um, and so thanks to social media, I get to know these people and call them my friends. All right, question number four. How do you stay inspired to keep producing unique and valuable content? That is such a sweet, sweet question. Like, what a compliment. I think I'm like a natural learner. I don't do well in school because like I'm forced to learn, but on my own, like I love to learn. I'm inspired by people, animals, mother nature, everything. And so that's what keeps me going. And um, I consume information and I love just reading constantly and surrounding myself with like uplifting people and energy and that's how I keep myself inspired and that's how I gain momentum to continue to produce content and to share it. Okay, question number five is how is it when you go out to eat as a vegan? A practical tip would be to look on their website and check out their menu or call them and see what they have. Uh, this is a good way for you to prepare and to get an idea of what they have so that you know like when you're walking in that you are gonna be fed. So yeah, I don't like to put myself in situations where I know there's not gonna be like food I can eat so I make sure that I'm being purposeful and that I'm planning ahead of time because I am not gonna sit there and watch someone eat when um, you know when we're out at dinner but on a good note I think it's easier now than ever to get like vegetarian or vegan options at a restaurant that's just my opinion so yeah I really don't have any problems going out to eat as a vegan uh, number six is what is your favorite book uh, my favorite book is by far Big Magic by Liz Gilbert um, I read it last year and it changed my life and my perspective in the best way possible. This book really encouraged me to dream big and go after what I love. And it also gave me the confidence to share my work and my thoughts and not, not wait for permission from anybody to start anything. So thank you, Liz. 
Okay, so number seven is, what's my favorite band? Um, I don't really have a favorite band, but I really do like Odeza, Vloom, and Illinium right now. My favorite song at the moment, that's number eight. I'm listening to Crawling Out of Love by Illinium, and that's been on repeat, so that's, I guess, my favorite song for the for the day. <laughs> number nine, what's my favorite movie? Uh, I like a lot of movies, like anything with like Avengers, superheroes, like I love all that. I guess my favorite movie of all time would be Titanic because that was the moment I became a hopeless romantic. Number 10 is, do I feed Opie vegan food? So uh, I can tell you right now that Opie is not vegan. He is um, semi-vegan. Um, I feed him a vegetarian kibble and um, a lot of veggies, but we don't feed him we don't like strictly um, remove meat from his diet. So yeah, long story short, he's not vegan, but I do my best to lower his meat intake. Okay, and that's a wrap for my intro video. Thank you so much for watching. Seriously, I am so grateful that you're here. If you watched it the whole way through, thank you. Like, namaste. As far as my schedule, I plan on posting every other week, so twice a month. So if you want to follow along even more, I have a newsletter over on my blog. If you want to sign up, I'll leave a link down below. And of course, you can always find me hanging out on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to get notifications every time I post a new video. That is all for today. Thank you so much again for watching. I will see you on the next video. Bye! Who wants vegan cheese? Who likes broccoli? Jazz hands. Cue the confetti!